All right, we are back. Episode four of Get to Know Your IT Presenters. So today I'm joined by my friend and colleague and coworker, Megan Boudreau. Megan, good morning. Good morning, Mariam. How are you? I'm great. Yourself? I'm not too bad, thanks. I think this feels this feels reminiscent of the last few months. It is, yes. We would uh, <laughs> for those don't know, we would meet daily on our team and chit chat and kind of catch up on things and yep. talk about next step. So, uh, Megan, for those that don't know you, maybe if you want to take a moment to introduce yourself and what you do and all that fun stuff. Sure. So uh, I'm Megan Boudreau, and I am one of the three members of the Halifax Regional for Education uh, Center for Education uh, Technology Integration Lead Team. So I work with Mario and our other colleague, Chris, to support teachers in the HRCE with all things integration technology. Awesome. So this isn't your first IT camp. You've been part of it the last few years. And once again, yep. you're presenting. So do you want to just talk a little bit about uh, your sessions that you're presenting at this year's IT camp? Sure. So I've got two sessions this year, um, some of which I've done before. And anyone from HRCE might have seen some of them before. But I've been working on kind of tweaking them and making them a little bit more relevant for what we're working with right now. I've got one session that's on Google Classroom. So you're in now what? So which is gonna be really great for those teachers that might have started at Google Classroom just because they needed a platform during e-learning for some back and forth. So a little bit about now that you're in and you might have some familiar with it, how can I use it to do more? Um, what are some of those features that maybe you didn't have time to figure out and play around with? So that's one of my sessions. And my other session that I'm gonna do is on organizing your drive. So, so many times teachers will say that their drives are so disorganized and it's hard to find files. So I've had to trim it down a little bit because our timing is a bit different than what I'm used to for IT camps. But uh, I've kind of broken it down into some quick tips and tricks on things that you can sort of pick away at to start making your drive a little bit more organized so that it's easier to find files. And so you can kind of maybe feel like starting at one place to organize your life is always helpful. So that's my two sessions. Awesome. Well, I know uh, in the last uh, few months, teachers were probably using their drive quite a bit, so I'm sure there's a lot of files in there. So if there was sort of, I don't want you to reveal too much about your session, but if there was sort of a Google Drive tip, maybe, it doesn't have to be the top one, maybe a, an important tip, what's one that you would kind of put out there to share? I would say if you're not using the starred feature in your Google Drive yet, then you are completely missing out. So that's always my favorite tip to talk about in organizing your drive is the starred feature that I, a lot of people I don't think know a whole lot about. And it's sometimes funny if you're watching this, if you've never used starred before and you go into your starred section in Google Drive, you'll probably see stuff that you didn't know and you don't know why it's there because at one point or another, you wondered, what's that star? You probably clicked on it, maybe clicked on it a couple of times and still didn't know. So um, that's always a tip that I like to talk to people about so they can use that for their benefit because I use it all the time. Yes, that's a good yes, one. I probably uh, don't uh, use it enough, so that's uh, that's good. So well, I, wonder if I wonder if that's the one you're moderating. Maybe yeah, you're I am moderating. I'll have to double check, which if it is, that'll be great to pick up some tips. Um, so before we kind of wrap things up, do you know uh, what days you're presenting on and times? You want to put that out there? Yes. So if you'd like to come to my sessions on Wednesday, my organizing your Google Drive session is from one to two. And the uh, what to do next with classroom is on Thursday from nine to 10. All right, awesome. So there you have it. Megan is uh, once again back at IT camp. So before we wrap things up, one thing we always do at these uh, get to know your IT camp presenter sessions is uh, we'll go through some 20 questions. So we're gonna do some rapid fire questions, see how many we can get through in a minute. Uh, What's just like, so far, because you know I'm not uh, competitive in the slightest. Uh, <laughs> I think 11 so far was the best. 11 okay. was the best. And that might have been me. Right. Uh, sometimes I'm a little slow spewing out the question. So um, we, uh, just like Family Feud, we'll start as soon as i uh, uh, done reading the first question, and uh, we'll yep. go from there. You ready? All right. Yeah. All right. Which do you prefer, coffee or tea? Tea. What's your favorite dessert? Coconut cream pie. Ooh. Where did you do your BED? Don't say Vincent. If you weren't a teacher, what would you be? Pharmacist. Have you ever traveled outside North America? Yes. Do you have a nickname? Meigs. What's your guilty pleasure? Pizza. Ah, what's the first thing you'd want win? If, you'd buy if you won the lottery. A vacation out of here. <laughs> Who is your great primary teacher? Mrs. McPherson. What's your hidden talent? Uh, I can detangle jewelry really quickly. 
Interesting. If you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Pizza. <laughs> Are you usually late, early, or on time? On time. What's your favorite day of the week? Friday. Stripes or solids? Solids. What's your favorite color? Purple. Oh, that's a time right there. Wow, we got through. Uh, looks like 16 of them. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's great. <laughs> that's good. Well, now I know who to go to if I have any jewelry that I need detangling. It's a really odd thing, and I find it really cathartic, and I can do it really quickly. <laughs> Probably because I just chuck things in a bowl, and then it, it gets to be a mess. But it <laughs> threw me off with a dessert one because I don't normally eat dessert. But yeah, that, yeah. Well, you know. That's good. All right. Well, I appreciate you taking the time today. Uh, Thanks for having me. And we'll see you online this week at IT Camp. Sounds good. Looking forward to it. All right. Take care. Thank you.